all your one and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Eliandra and today I have another cast for you guys, another group cast sort of thing. Today we are creating some fruits as sims. <laughs> I don't know what this idea is, I'm pretty sure it was suggested by one of you guys a while ago because I do sometimes write down you guys' ideas and I have like a cast list of ideas and earlier this week I did one of those which was the opposites attract and then another idea I had written down was fruit so I was like that sounds like fun and was it two weeks ago that I did the planet's greatest sim and that went down really really well and you guys seem to really love it I know this isn't really <laughs> similar at all but this is another video where I'm creating a bunch of sims at once instead of like one or two today we're doing five fruits I thought that would be a good amount also being really busy so did not have time to do like eight different fruit but I decided I would do five and I decided I'm not, I'm not gonna do like the most basic fruits of like orange, apple, lemon. I wanted to do some that were less, <laughs> less um, basic fruits. So, I mean, I guess they're still pretty basic fruits, but <laughs> today we're doing peach, kiwi, watermelon, pineapple, and grapes. <laughs> grapes is a weird one, but I wanted some more color in here. And we're starting off with peach. I think this sim turned out looking most like my sims generally look like, but she also turned out to be one of the cutest ones. This and the grape girl <laughs> are some of my favorite ones. So I do not have any fruit information for you guys today. I thought that would be a little bit random and I'm sure you guys, you know, a fruit is a fruit. You know it, you don't know it. Do you guys like peaches? I think peaches are delicious and the smell of peaches like in perfumes I literally think my two favorite perfume scents are peaches and mango which is a bit weird right because they're both fruit but I guess I really really like like fruity scents so <laughs> this is um this is my peach character so do you guys yeah do you like peaches because I do actually like to eat peaches as well I think it's one of my boyfriend's favorite fruit <laughs> is that a bit weird my favorite fruit is pineapple who we are also creating today she also also turn out so so cute <laughs> so let me know down below in the comments what your favorite fruit is if you want to tell me oh my goodness and I did give her a little bit more green as well I I mean this uh, cardigan has a lot of green on it but I thought she was looking too plain without it I really wanted to give it to her and you know peach does you know grow some leaves and stuff so I thought the green would be for the leaves um I've googled peach and a lot of pictures had leaves on them so that's why she's got a lot of green on and I called her Peyton and there you go she's really adorable obviously I put her in a lot of peach uh colored clothing a little cute jumpsuit she was very spring summery as well I am so so ready for spring to get here it is still snowing outside it was snowing today there's still like snow everywhere what the heck we're almost in the middle of March can you go away please no <laughs> I'm ready for spring I'm ready for summer super excited and I wanted to get a little bit warmer as well and I guess on the other side of the world it's gonna start getting colder and go to winter although I don't think it ever gets that cold over there but <laughs> here it can get to like minus 20 or 30 degrees Celsius so very very cold uh, next thing we're making is the watermelon sim and I actually called her Winona and I'm not sure how to pronounce that name whether it's Winona or Winona which is really bad I should not call my sims names that I cannot pronounce but I'm really sorry <laughs> I think it's Winona right I don't know but I wanted them like I wanted their first name to start with the same letter as the fruit so Winona watermelon you know we get it <laughs> this sim I think turned out looking most like unlike all my sims that I usually make. I really tried my best to try to make her look very different. I still think she looks very cool but I don't know like I just wasn't very happy with her for the longest time because she she didn't look like my other sims and I guess I only like what my sims usually look like. I don't know she did turn out really cool and I gave her lots of these freckles or moles whatever you want to think that they are. They kind of represent the seeds in watermelon, right? Because watermelon has black seeds and so now she's got like black mold all over her body. She's got this curly red hair that I have never used before. I thought I would use it and a green headband to go, you know, the outside of a watermelon is very green. I also gave her a red and green outfit. Her outfit was giving me such trouble, but in the end it's okay. I think I gave her like uh, some clothes that I usually use like kind of often on my sims. I need more seeds 
easy again. Like, I don't know what it is. I need to like stop making these huge group criticisms because it makes me frustrated. Like thinking that I'm using just the same CC over and over. I need to do more like single sim creator sims. So if you guys have any ideas for future creator sims, let me know in the comments. I'm always reading them. Um, also their trades are just kind of random. What I thought would suit the sim instead of the fruit. I did not really know any fruity traits for them, but here is the watermelon sim. I think she's are cool. Very different looking. And then next up we will be making Pineapple. Her name is Promise and she's adorable. Absolutely love how she turned out. I gave her green hair because of, you know, the, the leaves sticking out of the top of a pineapple. I wanted her hair to be green but the rest of her clothes to be yellow and her makeup is yellow, etc. She's so adorable. I gave her a little yellow heart on her cheek. She's really, really cute. But yeah, I need more CC. I need to go CC shopping again. Um, but I just feel like there isn't enough. <laughs> it's just, it's the issue with Max as much CC that like there aren't that many creators out there. So there isn't like a huge amount of CC being made all, like every, every day. So I always need to wait a little bit before I can go CC shopping again. But hopefully there will be some CC related videos coming out on the channel soon. If you missed yesterday's video, oh my goodness. Yesterday, oh, yesterday, I did my face reel, you guys. Face reel, 100,000 subscribers special. Face reel is out on the channel. You can go check it out if you haven't seen it yet. I was so, so nervous, but you guys have been leaving me the best, the nicest, the loveliest comments you could ever, like, leave me. There's been over a thousand comments on yesterday's video, so obviously I cannot possibly reply to all of them, but I have replied to like as many as I can, and then there's been like a flood of comments on Instagram and on Twitter, so you guys are just the best. Honestly, I don't deserve you guys. I have like the best viewers ever. I love you guys so, so much, and I want you to know that I have seen most of your guys' messages, and I've been reading them, and you just made me feel so happy, and I was so nervous to show my face, but seems that I didn't have any reason to be nervous because you guys are the nicest. So <laughs> that I just wanted to mention that because you guys truly are the best. And yes, I did launch an Instagram now. It's still like in the beginning. I posted like one picture <laughs> just to kind of say that my facial reel went live. I'm an Instagram new, but if you do want to follow me on my social media right now, it's eliandraYT. So you can go follow me on Instagram if you'd like to do so. And on Twitter, we're almost at 3,000 followers on Twitter, which isn't that many I guess compared to 100k but please follow me on Twitter like I love Twitter so <laughs> if you have a Twitter please go and give me a follow I don't post like too much or anything annoying and like too often I post cool stuff okay <laughs> at least I think so also I did change my tumblr username and my tumblr page url I did mention this in another video but it is now it's eliandra.tumblr.com so it's a new url same blog it still looks the same uh, it is linked in the description if you want to go check it out for any of the CC that these girls are wearing. This top is very new. I think I just reblocked it very recently. So it is a mesh edit of one of the items from Jungle Adventure. I thought it would be very cute on her. As you can see, she's wearing lots of yellow. I love these new jeans as well. I just think she's so cute. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't give my Sims green hair very often, but for her, it just looks cute, you know? I don't think I've like ever made, okay, I must have made some Sims with green hair, but I think green must be one of the like least used hair colors for me. <laughs> I don't know, it's just a bit weird. <gasps> Talking about hair colors, I want to dye my own hair. I have blonde hair, and yes, this is my natural hair color. I got a bunch of questions. Yes, I have not dyed my hair in the longest time. Last time what I did was like put like tiny little highlights of like blonde in my hair, like a little bit lighter blonde, but that was like two years ago or something, so <laughs> they probably all, all gone away now. So yes, this is my completely natural hair color, and yeah, I'm naturally blonde. I've had so many different hair colors in my life. I, at one point when I was like 15, I decided I wanted to have black hair and I dyed my entire hair black. And the hairdressers, uh, the place was not too great because they put in like this really like deep black that does not come out. Like it's not meant to come out ever. So it was an absolute disaster trying to ever get it out. Because if you guys like are 
if you guys have ever tried dyed your hair with like a completely opposite color of what your hair naturally is it is so annoying like when your roots start to grow out and like if I have blonde hair and I dyed it black like then I'm gonna have black hair with blonde roots it's not pretty and it's not pretty it's like I and mean, it's not like fun to keep like dyeing the roots the entire time so when I eventually decided after like a year or something that I wanted to get rid of the black it was so hard. I had to bleach my hair probably like four or five times and it definitely damaged my hair a lot. So guys, if you decide to do something like that, <laughs> please think of it for like a long time before you do it because your poor hair is going to get damaged. But yeah, I've, yeah, it's been black. It's been orange after that. It's been brown. It's been pink at some point when I was a lot younger. So what I'm going to do now is I want to do like an ombre tips in my hair. And instead of just one color, I want to do like the multiple ombre, like purple and pink or even blue, purple and pink. I think that would be so cool. I'm really excited to do that. <laughs> I'm going to do that soon, I think. I don't know. It's just, I've been so busy. I feel like there's been so much stuff happening with the channel recently. Like I launched my second channel. I changed my channel name. We, we reached 100,000 subs 100, subscribers. I did my phase area. I officially joined the EA Game Changers now. So there's just been so much happening, so much good stuff, which I'm really happy about, but it's just, it's kept me really busy. By the way, we're now making the Grape Sim, who might be my favorite out of these Sims. She turned out so, so cute. I think I called her Gracie, and I wanted to make her head a little small round thing, like a little grape. Her head is a little grape, <laughs> pretty much. And this is a new hair for me that I downloaded. It's very old, but new for me, this little pixie cut, perfect purple. I guess grapes, because grapes do come in multiple colors. There's like kind of reddish or burgundy grapes. Then there is, you know, light green grapes. Grapes, and then there are these darker, are they like purple or blue? Because I went for purple, but I guess they could be dark blue as well. I don't know, but that was the inspiration for her. And this outfit is just adorable. I think Gracie turned out so, so cute. And then lastly, we will be making the Kiwi Sim, who also has some green, obviously, because Kiwis are green from the inside, but Kiwis are also brown from the outside. So I think I gave her brown hair. The last Sim was also really hard for me. I don't know, maybe because uh, it was quite late in the evening and it was the last one I was trying to do. I just wasn't happy with her outfit. I think she turned out okay in the end but she's definitely not my fave out of these girls but I think she looks like a kiwi <laughs> not like an old um New Zealander but kiwi the fruit by the way tomorrow I'm really excited for those videos because uh there's a new stuff pack coming to the sims on Tuesday if you guys uh didn't know uh it came out of nowhere it's not a surprise if you guys haven't heard of it it's called my first pet stuff and it's about hamsters and uh, there's also hedgehogs and rats in it. Uh, it's basically, it has little rodents in it and it's coming out on Tuesday, which means since I have early access, uh, I can post those videos tomorrow. So tomorrow there will be videos about the new stuff pack, which I know a lot of you guys are not happy about it. I mean, there's been a lot of controversy about the pack, but I will share my thoughts on it tomorrow, so be on the lookout for those videos. I'm sure everyone will be posting their videos tomorrow, <laughs> like every single person, Simus person you're subscribed to. But hey, I already recorded them and they, they're they pretty good, so <laughs> I, suggest, I suggest that you watch them. For this girl, ooh, what did I call her? I think I called her, wait, it must start with a K. Kiwi. Oh, did I go for Kendra? I might have gone for Kendra. Now I've completely forgotten. I also gave her little freckles on her nose because Kiwi, the center of Kiwi, kind of has those little dark dots, right? I think it does. And I was considering giving her glasses as well, but I like, I don't know. I forgot. I should have given at least one of these Sims glasses because I try to make them look diverse, etc. But it just, it escaped my mind. I, I just always go over the lashes instantly. So I forgot to give anyone glasses, but it's okay. I'll do so in the future. So yeah, definitely let me know what crazy Sims you would like to see on my channel next because I love doing them so much and they are some of your guys' favorite videos to watch. So if you have ideas, let me know in the comments and I will be writing them down and doing them. Again, you can check my Tumblr for any of the CC these girls are wearing. And if you would like to download these fruity girls, you can find them on the gallery under my username, Eliandra YT, 
or under the hashtag Eliandra. I have changed my origin username as well and the hashtag that we will be using. So now it is hashtag Eliandra. I thought these little mini shorts were perfect for her with the color, but I do end up changing the top a little bit. I just wasn't happy with any of them in the end. I ended up going for this like little cardigan with a black top underneath. The black doesn't really suit, but it's better than anything else that I had. <laughs> Anyways, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new here. I post new Sims 4 videos every single day and thank you guys again so, so much for 100,000 subscribers or 109,000 that there is over you guys now. That's also <laughs> absolutely crazy. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you again tomorrow for Sims 4 My First Pet Stuff. Thanks for watching and bye!